spooky Halloween scenes probably first come to mind when people think of bats. But here they're saying, bring on the bats. We're building bat houses for the city of Irving. All right, so just grab one. John Flaherty's Eagle Scout project involves building eight houses specially designed to attract bats. His fellow scouts are helping out. Both these young volunteers. I didn't really know what was going to happen when I showed up. And the construction experts guiding them did not know much about bats before this. I'm learning about that they like tight and closed spaces. Through research, John Flaherty has learned a lot. The biggest benefit bats bring? We obviously have a lot of mosquitoes, and uh, bats eat half their weight mosquitoes every single night. And I think it'd be really good for the environment around Irving. There are at least seven species that are native here. We used to have a lot more than we do now, and we're hoping to encourage more to stay around. And they are especially interested in getting one type to call these houses home. We're trying to attract the eastern pipistrelle, which is the smallest bat, and it weighs about what a nickel weighs. Really? Very lightweight, yes. That's good. The idea of building bat houses has been one that some in the city have been batting around for years, and it's supported by the Green Advisory Board. When the city of Irving first introduced this, it was a great idea to jump on it. Three of them are going to be used by us and by the city for educational purposes, and the others will be installed in our parks. We've got a production line going. Right now we're staining the inside of it black so that it's darker for the bats. They're going to climb in, and this is what they hold on to, these grooves. The volunteers hope this project inspires people to learn more about bats. Did they ever fascinate you as kids? Uh, not really. Now that he has found out about them, John Flaherty has gotten very interested. Bats by their nature is really cool, and like how they use, they're partly blind, they use echolocation as to like see through the dark. They don't attack people, they like swimming pools, they like the water in the swimming pool. They're not trying to land in your hair or anything, they're just trying to get the bugs that are above your head. So they're very cool. Even so, there is more to know. On the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention website, there are warnings about rabies and other viruses. City reps we checked with are aware of that and believe the benefits of a natural mosquito eliminator outweigh any risks. But common sense precautions are in order. If they're on the ground, please be sure that you take your, get your dogs away inside and don't let your children and you don't touch them because they could be ill. Now, not that they are, but it's smart to assume they are. Even though the construction of these houses is wrapping up, it will take a while to gauge success. It may take up to a couple of years for them to find it and inhabit the bad houses, but we're hoping they will. We're hoping that this will help, and if, if this does succeed, they're hoping to do more. There is plenty to learn here from bats and beyond. They learn a lot about project management and event planning and communication. I'm really excited about it. I think it's so cool. And it, I want the people to learn about that, so I think this will be very helpful. Yeah, it makes me feel really good. Like, I made a big difference in like the community and the environment and everything. Yeah.